In this video we are looking at the best smartphones on the market for every price range. As always all the links to all the products mentioned in this video will be in the description below. We always keep the description up to date with information. We might not get a chance to mention in this video we also update the description down below with links to find the best price on each product. So for the most up-to-date information along with updated pricing be sure to check out that description. Now let's get to the video. Number 10. Samsung Galaxy S21. The flagship for the Samsung Galaxy series of phones, and indeed for most of Android itself, is the Samsung Galaxy S21. The Galaxy S21 comes in three different versions, the Galaxy S21, the Galaxy S21 Plus, and the Galaxy S21 Ultra. We'll discuss the Galaxy Ultra later, which leaves us with the Galaxy S21 and S21 Plus. They're both very similar with the Plus version carrying a larger screen, larger battery, and larger price tag. Most of what we'll say about the Galaxy S21 rings true for the S21 Plus, so if you like what you see here but want something a bit bigger, the S21 Plus is your pick. The Samsung Galaxy S21 comes with a 6.2-inch FHD Plus screen with a 120Hz refresh rate. It has great viewing angles and is what our reviewer Andrew calls utterly gorgeous. It's bright and vibrant, everything you'd expect from a Samsung display. The processor is top-of-the-line Qualcomm Snapdragon 888, boasting a 9% speed improvement over the last generation of Samsung phones. The S21 also has 8GB of RAM and 128 or 256GB of storage which is not expandable via a microSD card. Screen size, 6.2 inches, resolution, 1080x2400, processor, Qualcomm Snapdragon 888, camera, 64MP 12MP 12MP rear and 10MP front, battery, 4000 mAh. Number 9. Samsung Galaxy S21 Plus. The Samsung Galaxy S21 range has been a great success for the South Korean phone maker. And the reason why can be seen clearly in the Samsung Galaxy S21 Plus, which sits between the standard S21 and flagship S21 Ultra in the range. In the simplest terms, the S21 Plus is an S21 but with a larger screen. And what a screen that is, with the 6.7-inch AMOLED looking stunning and an absolute joy to use. This panel delivers a 1300 nits peak brightness, HDR10 Plus support, and a dynamic refresh rate that maxes out at a buttery smooth 120Hz. This impressive screen is powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 or Exynos 2100 CPU. Depending on where you are in the world. Which are both rapid, as well as 8GB of RAM and up to 256GB of storage space. It's a strong core package that delivers some impressive benchmark results and rapid real-world usage. This speed is also carried into its data connection, with a state-of-the-art 5G modem on board. Number 8. Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra. Xiaomi is going up against the premium smartphone players with the Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra. At first glance, it looks like any other flagship with a large glossy display with a tiny hole punch camera on the front. But turn it around and you'll see something completely different, the phone has a large camera module with a 1.1-inch AMOLED display integrated into it. You can use it as an always-on display, notification window, or to quickly skip through music. One of the best uses for the tiny screen is as a selfie preview window. Gone are the days of losing out on quality using a front camera, now you can make use of all of the benefits of the main camera system and be sure that everyone has made it into the shot. Not only will you capture better selfies, but its point-and-shoot capabilities are excellent too. Two screens and a superb camera system aren't the only benefits of this phone, it's also one of the most powerful handsets you can buy. It handles everything from photo editing to mobile gaming with ease, it boasted even more impressive performance than the winners on this list. Number 7. Google Pixel 4a 5G The Google Pixel 4a 5G isn't the cheapest Pixel that Google has brought out recently. And nor is it the most powerful, but it just might be the best. Combining elements of the Pixel 4a and the Pixel 5 in one well-priced package. It has the same excellent camera as the Pixel 5, and the same Snapdragon 765G processor, and 5G like the Pixel 5, and an even bigger screen. Plus, like all the Pixels, it's running a clean and bloat-free version of Android that's guaranteed timely updates from Google. All that said, it makes a few compromises to hit a lower price point. The combination of price, performance and features that the Pixel 4a 5G manages to pull together makes it just about our favorite Pixel phone of the year. More of this please Google. It's also an easy choice for our best phones 2023 list. Number 6. Google Pixel 5. The latest Google flagship phone is more of a premium mid-ranger than an actual flagship. The Pixel 5 settles for a Snapdragon 765G chip rather than the faster Snapdragon 865 processors. And it ditches some of the advanced features of the Pixel 4. None of this really matters too much though. 
because it allows the Pixel 5 to hit a lower price point. And when you take the asking price into consideration, this is very much one of the best phones on the market at the moment. It's especially attractive if you like the clean, stock version of Android. There are some neat features here, including a 90Hz refresh rate for the screen, IP68 waterproofing, and wireless charging. There are also some useful Pixel exclusives on the software side. As usual for the Pixel series, it's the camera that helps the Pixel 5 stand out from the pack. While the physical hardware of the rear camera hasn't changed all that much from last year. The onboard image processing continues to impress, and it's difficult to beat in terms of photo taking. Number 5 iPhone 12 Pro There's so much to like about the new iPhone 12 Pro that it's hard to know where to start. There's the blazingly fast A14 Bionic processor. The addition of 5G. The improved triple-lens camera system with added LiDAR. The redesigned shape of the phone, and plenty more besides. That's before you get to the software side. iOS continues to go from strength to strength, and iOS 14 introduces new features like home screen widgets, pin chats in messages, and a new Translate app to take on Google Translate, this edition of the phone is more expensive than the standard iPhone 12. And the main difference is the camera. The Pro model adds a telephoto lens and built-in LiDAR for better depth sensing. Both are great phones, but we think the Pro edition will be less popular because of the higher price. Number 4. Sony Xperia 1-2. With a gorgeous 6.5-inch, 21,9 display. The Sony Xperia 1-2 follows on from the Sony Xperia 1 in being an excellent handset to watch movies and TV shows on. If that's something that you like to do, then this is a phone that's worth putting on your shortlist when you're choosing the best phone for you. We can also tell you that the camera is very impressive too. Whether you want to just point and shoot or take more control over the various onboard photography settings, the Sony Xperia 1-2 will serve you well when it comes to taking photos and making movies, and again this is something that Sony handsets are well known for. Add in a nice design, strong battery life, wireless charging, 5G and an IP68 rating, and you can tell that this is a phone with very few flaws. The aesthetics and the tall screen might not be to everyone's taste. And it's on the pricey side, but the Sony Xperia 1-2 is worthy of the flagship label. Number 3. Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G. Despite the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra getting digital stylus support, the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G remains our top choice of handset if you want stylus functionality. This is primarily because, one, the phone comes with a stylus, and two because that stylus can be stored and charged within the device. The S21 Ultra offers neither of these things, requiring extra spend for a stylus, and no way to dock the stylus inside the phone. There's also a lot to like about the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G, and if you can manage the cost, it's undoubtedly one of the best Android experiences going right now. It features a brilliant design, a more than capable camera, and internal specs that mean it will outpace almost every phone on the market. The biggest reason for buying the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G, though, is of course that S Pen, scribble on a lock screen, control the camera remotely, unleash your creative side, and more. If you need a phone with a stylus for serious work on the go, this phone has you covered. 5G is on board, as the name of the phone suggests. Which means you're covered for years when it comes to next-gen connectivity. Number 2. Huawei Mate 40 Pro. The problems that Huawei has had with accessing Google Apps and the Android Play Store have been well documented. But there's absolutely no doubting the quality of its hardware the Mate 40 Pro is a stunning smartphone. Finished with a premium glass and metal feel and running some of the fastest components around. The handset scores highly in two areas that are crucial to any smartphone buyer. The camera is excellent, and the battery life can get you almost two days between charges if you're careful. No matter what the drawbacks on the software side, those advantages are worth taking note of. Admittedly this is a pricey phone, but sometimes you've got to invest to get the best, and the Huawei Mate 40 Pro is one of the handsets that's really impressed us this year. In terms of the feel of the phone in the hand and the performance it offers, it's hard to beat. Do make sure you're going to be able to run the apps you need to run on this phone before parting with your cash though. A lot of the top Android apps will have to be side-loaded, which means you need to be careful in terms of updates and security. On the whole, we think the Mate 40 Pro is still worth it for some users. Number 1. Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. The Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra is not only the best phone Samsung has ever made, but it is one that makes history as it is the first S-series handset that comes with digital stylus support. Just like on the Galaxy Note series of phones, the S21 Ultra can now be used in conjunction with a digital stylus, even though the phone does not come with one and, also unlike the Note series, a stylus can't be stored in it. Away from stylus functionality the phone is a 5-star beast in every single way, from its massive 
premium display that delivers 6.8 inches of real estate with both a 120Hz refresh rate and WQHD plus resolution. To its 5 nanometers system on chip in the form of the Exynos 2100 or Qualcomm Snapdragon 888, and right through to its RAM and large, long-lasting battery. The phone is also a titan in terms of photography, with the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra coming with a super-powerful quad rear camera system, as well as high-resolution selfie camera. The main rear snapper on the S21 Ultra has a super-advanced 108MP sensor which allows for insanely high-resolution shots. There's an absolute bounty of shooting modes, too, including a fully manual pro mode as well as panorama, AR doodle, food, night, and portrait among others. While Samsung's excellent single-take mode means that you can utilize the phone's strong AI to capture multiple pictures of a single event, ensuring you don't miss the perfect shot. The camera goodness continues, too, in terms of the S21 Ultra's telephoto zoom functionality, which allows for up to a remarkable 100x space zoom. Throw in the very latest Android 11 operating system, as well as bevy of advanced features like the laptop aping DeX mode and reverse wireless charging. And you're left with a phone that really has no weaknesses at all.